Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Horizons from Daily Magic Games um, which has been kindly sent to me as a review copy. Um, this is, as my little sticker told me on the outside of the box, this is a Kickstarter edition which means it includes the Horizons Extermination Pack inside. So there you go. I'm not sure if there's in fact a retail version available just yet. Um, but it gave me that lovely sticker. Um, and so let's get to this unboxing and see what the box itself is like. Well, the cover art is very colourful, isn't it? And really interesting. Um, from what I know about this game, it is like a 4X game, except for 3Xs, meaning you explore, you expand. Can't remember the other ones. I'm sure the back of the box will tell me. Um, but the artwork is really stunning. It definitely looks space, space themed, right? Doesn't it? It's kind of sci-fi it's with the rope things and um, the box itself um it's a really nice sturdy box feels feels good um let's see what's on the back because you know that's where i love to go oh here we go and as we go through the sides you can see it is a game for two to five players um ages 14 plus times 60 to 75 minutes so you're talking about an hour of a game two to five players is a nice player count as well usually games go two to four so it's always nice to see extra so here's what we can be expecting on the inside of horizons well, it definitely looks like a space game now, doesn't it? Um, so in Horizons, you are a star-faring species taking its first steps into a new class, into a new star cluster. Um, so yeah, this has a very um, Twilight Imperium vibe, doesn't it? You have your own player mats, it looks like, and you're going to build up the board of hexes. Um, just exciting stuff. I really like these type of games. Um, be very curious to see how to do it. Um, from all the components, seems to be a lot... Of different things it looks like a bag as well so i wonder how it works so let's go right inside the box there's quite a big box see how thick it is um and it's tall too it's kind of like um the big sentinels of the multiverse boxes and ooh, what do we get so inside so the first thing of course we come across is the rule book it's made of very sturdy paper we'll have a quick look at it and see what it looks like in here so there's the story of it and the game overview right here at the start. The game setup was all numbers. It doesn't seem to be too elaborate. There's the list of components. Good, good, good. Um, I like the way these are in boxes. Oh, there's a whole, there's all of the icons. Good. I really hope they're also on the back of the rule book because that's the most useful place for icons. The things you can do in your turn, you can build, can harvest, conspire. There's an end of turn, end of game. So the game ends immediately when the player builds their last available colony. Fair enough, and then here's how you score final scoring. That's, that's all good. Um, this is nice and straightforward. And then winning the game, the special version for two player. Fair enough. Some allied cards and mission cards. Things on your player board. So these are just things you can check up. They're all kind of appendixes. So the rules themselves is actually fairly short and sweet. And on the back of it, yes, it has the icons. I'm very, very impressed with this. Um, a quick play guide to how to set up and how the game flows and how the game scores. This is exactly what you want on the back of every rule book. It's a quick summary of everything that was set inside. So after you've played it the first few times and you're very familiar with it, the little reminders you might need are right here for you. Okay, 10 out of 10 rule book. That looks very, very positive. Now, look at these. Ooh, I'd like to find out they're grooved into the box, into like... See, there's a little slot for them to sit into. Woo! Look at the insert, it's got all sorts of shapes. So I'm going to start with, I assume that these are the different um, players you can be. Um, or the different worlds that you are. So this guy looks pretty smarmy. Um, it's made, this cardboard is super thick. Um, it's a really, really solid stuff. It's got these nice grooves cut into it. I assume we'll put other things into it. Um, so he's a particular mega corporation. What else have we got? So we've got e Revem Corp, so it looks like Fancy Man Corp. The Human Liberation Front, I wouldn't guess there were humans, but there were definitely some sort of militant things. No aliens on Earth, Earth jobs are for humans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Project Einstein, so this must be kind of the science crew. Yeah. The Terran Alliance, this sounds awfully familiar, but yeah. Diana Troy. <laughs> and... Hawkwood, our mercenary hired frequently by the Terran Alliance. Okay, so they're your dirty work. Um, these look really, really cool. I'm very curious to see now how these actually work. I say we're gonna put cubes and mark on them and build things as we go along. But they're very nicely colored. Um, they're very well laid out. and They're very easy to read, aren't they? I think, I think they're, very, they're very impressive. I like those a lot. Okay, now, 
down to the nitty gritty. Now we've got these weird shapes. Oh, um, and it's kind of rough, so you can pull things out easily. Really fancy. So I'm trying to figure out what stuff goes in those shapes. All right, hang on. So we've got because we've all these wooden shapes and plastic. Well, we do have a bag, a nice cloth bag, not velvet one, just cloth one. But it, it, yeah, it's nice. Oh, it's a solid one too. It's really sturdy. Okay, so. And then we seem to have some tiles and some cards in this bag all by themselves. Oh, this is the this is the expansion pack, people. I'll have a look at that separately in a sec. I'll finish going through everything else first. Seems to be an awful lot of space in here. I'm trying to figure out where everything's going to end up. Like, am I missing something? Okay, well, we've got cards. We'll go down to the cards. And does it have one of these nice lines on it? It does! I love these tab lines. Making my life so much easier. Do, do, do. Okay, so the first pile of cards. No, oh, that was a terrible throw of plastic. <laughs> ah, okay, so what do we got? A bounty hunter, futurist. Are these all the same on the back? What are they like on the back? So some of these are solid on the back. And those type of cards seem to be... Stuff like upgrades, I want to say. Adapt. Adapt to be, have to use a master. It seems to be worth points anyway of some sort. So these ones here are special. There's also less of them, I think, than the others. What's we got next? So then on the back of them. So they're the same on both sides. Okay, I think they're the same on both sides. So this guy says gain one money per something in your hand. Yeah, but I've got different symbols, so maybe you flip them over and then you can't use them again. The artwork is kind of cool, actually. It's kooky. Quite like it. That's a great one. So this must be all for the green player, maybe? Infiltrator, Dull Green. Yeah, they got their names on them, so obviously these correspond to the different characters. It's a great picture. The artwork is very, very cool and lovely. Like, look at that. It's a little shiny, I know. The card quality is very nice. Um, it's not kind of a textured finish, but it is very smooth and they're easy to move through here. So yeah, so we obviously, okay, so clearly each player is going to get some cards or a deck of cards that belong to them. I assume this is going to be more of these. Um, but we should never make assumptions. Where is it? There it is. Ah. Now, I'm trying to figure out, you see, what all these shapes are for. Because I've got a bunch of wooden tokens to open, right? We know, we all know what that's like, wooden tokens. So, okay, I got, okay, I got way more of those cards now that look like the kind of upgraded cards. In fact, this entire deck is mostly upgraded cards from the back there. Yeah, and they also seem to be the ones that go sideways. Are there quests? You must have this type to have this type. Um, some of them are for three plus players, some of them are four plus players, five plus. So I guess it all varies. There's a two plus one. Um, cool. I like multiple ways to score. So good. Here's a list of the icons for the players and what's on the back. Scoring. That's very convenient and handy. I love that stuff. And this is the Terran group. It all looks like the same card, but they seem to be part of it. Okay, cool. So that's actually all of the cards. So what we're left now with is some tokens. And by some, I mean many. So, <laughs> I'll start and have, give you a feel for the quality of them. And we can speculate roughly at what they are. But beyond that, I don't know if there's much point in, in me opening each one individually to go, here's another piece of wood. Okay, this one really hates me. There we go. So, this is one for each color. Get them all out. I'm missing a color. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it goes up to five players. So here you go. The colors. These are just some wooden markers. Um, they're yeah, they're lovely. Um, the colors are great. I think apart from the brown. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I have something against brown. So we've got these roundy hexagonal things. I think you can see there was there were spaces for these, like over here on your player mat. So I assume that's what they are for. I'm trying to figure out what all these things are for. Are you supposed to keep all the goods in there separately and then put your game on its side? I don't know. Then we got some half moon things. 
which um, also seem to go on your player board. They're very chunky and nice. And then the last bit. Oh no, not the last bit. Not even close to the last bit. <laughs> Whoop. Come on. There you go. So we got some not quite cubes. Like benty any cubes. And yes, they also go on the player board. They're all there. So obviously these are markers for your structures, as it says. So that's... They're very much kind of, you know, representative, I suppose more actual. Then we seem to have a pile of just grey squares. Grey squ <laughs> squares. And we have a pile of yellow discs, which I assume is to do with the actual map itself. And then we have a pile of purple triangles. So you get where we're going here. All of these are obviously for the board and for how you play and things like that. So I'm going to put the cards back in here. I do like the card slot. There really looks like there's room for way more than this in it, doesn't it? It looks like it's missing an expansion. Maybe it is. I should look this up. But there's an expansion with it. So we may as well have a look at that. Because, you know, you've, you've come all this way. Would you like to be entertained? Okay, so now. What do we get in this expansion? So. You know, should always, you know. Read your rule book first. So it's a little, basically a little note. So there's going to be some alien allies in this. There's the setup and gameplay and alternative starter allies. Set and gives us two different sets of the looks of it. There's those and those and then alternate star tiles. So we've got some new tiles, setup, gameplay and clarifications. So yeah, it's, straight, it's straightforward enough. They'll have their own little rules which, which you should follow. Um, but it doesn't look bad, we'll see. I'm not sure how majorly they changed the game. Okay, we'll have a little look. So according to this, it should be two colour ones. You had the Villox and the Caspio. So just cool new races. The cards in these are awesome. These are more linen -y finished than the others. These are more grippy. They feel different anyway. Um, so we got some very cool artwork. That one's awesome. I have a thing for people with wings. And coordinators, planets, spy, shock troops. All the good stuff. And the same on the other side. They're different on the other side than this one. So this guy is red here. He's green here. Are they all like this? They are. So this must be the special feature of the new expansion people. And then... Let's have a look at some of the square tiles. Did I not show what square tiles are there? Where's our tiles for the map then? Hmm. Anybody remember? I thought I saw a bag with the tiles in it. Can't be the only tiles in the whole game, is it? We'll find out. So these are from the expansions. Oh, these are lovely and thick as well. Clearly these are just, you know, our planet. They're quite pretty. I like the way they're done. Yeah, they're nice and they feel nice too. I think they'll fit together quite nicely on the board. So there we go. Okay, so that looks like pretty much everything that we were supposed to go through. So I'm a little confused now. Are they the only um, hexagonal things I found? I'm like, did I took them down somewhere else? No. So how do I fill the board? I guess that's a mystery to be solved for another day. Unless there's something under this. Which I doubt. But, like, I didn't come across anything I had to pop out, right? No? Ha mm. <laughs> ha! There it is. I knew while I was missing stuff. So, yeah, there are things to pop out. <laughs> so, I was like, where is the stuff that makes up the map? This makes no sense. So, yeah, so the, here's, here's our parts for the map. Dying to jump out. Um, and some other little symbol tokens. We'll pop one out. Because, you know, let's give it a test. It's lovely chunky cardboard and lovely stuff. So I'm gonna leave these back in here and I'll properly disassemble it later. But um, that was sneaky. If you didn't know you were looking for that, you may never have found it. I wonder does it actually say in the rule book? I'll have to look for that, you know. Lift your game insert to uncover the rest of your game. But um, it's a really nice production. Everything feels really, really good. It feels very well thought out. And um, this is clever. I like this very much. So I should also return the rule book. Now, so what do you guys think? I think this is a very cool looking game. I'm 
very excited to give it a go. It's been a while since I've had kind of a 4X, in inverted commas, game. Um, so yeah, so you have been watching um, Board Game Inquisition and we've unboxed Horizons um, from Daily Magic Games. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, why not think about doing something nice like liking or subscribing to the channel or telling a friend I exist. And until next time, I'll be here and hopefully you'll join me for another unboxing video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.